Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. And today I want to talk about a uh, fragrance from Ralph Lauren called Romance Silver. This one was released all the way back in 2005, classified as a woody floral musk. Top notes on this one are vodka, cypress, tangerine, and bergamot. Middle notes of violet and nutmeg. And in the base we have gaiac wood and musk. That's from the Fragrantica website. Now, I used to have a full-size bottle of this one, but uh, unfortunately, um, it was stolen, and uh, I no longer have it in my collection. So, uh, I did find this little sample buried in a bag of samples in my basement, so I uh, thought, hey, you know, this is a good fragrance. I want to talk about it a little bit. Um, now... A couple things I should mention about this fragrance. First of all, it is discontinued and very hard to find. If you do buy a bottle uh, on eBay, perhaps it'll probably be between like 200 or 300 plus, depending on whether or not it's you know unboxed or still in the wrapper box. Uh, so I would say probably you're not going to buy this one anymore anyway, unless you can maybe find a bottle somewhere, maybe yard sale or uh, you know Goodwill or something. <laughs> but definitely consider that because it is a good fragrance and yeah, I've also heard that some of these bottles are fakes as well so those are things to consider before purchasing this one um, another thing I'm going to mention in the video is that uh, it does have a very similar smell to uh, Ralph Lauren's purple label which I believe you can actually find a lot easier and probably fresher juice with less cost and also when you talk about purple label people are also going to talk about bond number nouns bleaker street so i've tried all three of those fragrances perhaps one of the few people in the community that has had the pleasure of trying uh romance silver bleaker street and purple label the purple label if you follow my channel you do know that that also made my hall of fame top 30 list it is a really nice fragrance um so this one it's really hard for me to distinguish this one from Purple Label, uh, even though the note breakdown appears to be very different. Um, vodka is mentioned in the opening, so maybe there's a little bit of a brightness from the vodka in the opening. But other than that, um, you know, you put these two on side by side, and that's what I did yesterday. You're going to have a very hard time distinguishing the two apart. It says tangerine and bergamot is citrus notes. I don't really get that. Um, I know purple label was more of a blackberry and that's more or less what I'm getting here more of a dark purple fruit um, I think somebody mentioned grape uh, I think it was the scented monkey video <laughs> somebody said grape so more of like a maybe like a dried purple fruity accord there but it's not really fruity it's more of a tobacco blossom in tobacco blossom isn't mentioned here but on some videos or um, Pyramid mentions it does say tobacco blossom. So tobacco blossom is an important part of purple label, and that's basically what I'm getting here is a lot of that tobacco blossom, and it's nice to smell that because you get that really classy, elegant tobacco smell, but uh, it's not that typical uh, cherry tobacco or vanilla tobacco cigar vibe that you've probably smelled with tobacco vanilla or um, something like that. Um, or pure van this one it's just a really elegant classy floral tobacco supported by uh, some musk some woods it says cypress some sort of an airy woodiness about it and you're gonna get some uh, make a herbal spicy tones here it's saying nutmeg but I know purple label I believe was thyme and uh, so it kind of has that vibe to it like a like an herbal nature more so than a citrusy nature so woody um, herbal but that tobacco flower is really what grounds this fragrance and makes it sort of almost old school but very modern smelling as well and uh, you could wear this one in the same occasions as purple label something that uh, I would see being a great date night or elegant formal event uh, but it's not a real strong fragrance either, so I think it'd be perfectly suitable for day wear as well. Uh, I love to wear a purple label, like when I'm going out with a suit and tie. And this one, 
you know, anytime an elegant fragrance like Aventus or something like that, like a Bikillion or something like that, this one fits right in with those types of fragrances. Just because elegant, classy, gentlemanly. Um, so it has really good stuff. Like I said, it's just uh, unfortunate it's been discontinued. Uh, but uh, if you've had a chance to try this one, please comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Let's get into some final scores here of the smell. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. It does kind of do the perfect job of bridging classic elegance with modern style. You know, I think about Zahar often and how that was something that uh, that fragrance house strived to do. I think this one does a better job of that because it doesn't have like that patchouli lavender effect that uh, really makes that old school smell kind of daring and challenging. This one, and if you love tobacco, I think you're going to really like this one with the woods and the spice and the herbs and things like that the musk projection longevity does seem to be sort of a soft projector but uh it lasts a decent amount of time maybe four to six hours so seven and a half out of ten there versatility i can think you can wear this one pretty much year round i maybe say more of a cooler weather evening wear but certainly you know if you just lighten up on your sprays you could wear it as a signature scent i think as well uniqueness tricky one as well it smells so much like bleaker street and purple label but other than that you know those three fragrances silver romance bleaker street purple label those three smell very similar but other than that it, they smell pretty much nothing like anything else so i'll say seven out of ten there price point you know just out of hand two to three hundred dollars or more for the new bottles and that's if you get lucky and even get an authentic or fresh smelling bottle which might be um, impossible at this point as well so for me eight out of ten yeah, if you just somehow luckily stumble across a bottle of this for trade or um in a rummage or yard sale definitely don't overlook this one because it's just a great masculine i would say semi-mature 35 plus type fragrance great one for tobacco lovers sick of the cherry vanilla tobacco but still love tobacco check this one out see what you think thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys later